What's up guys, Football Peter here, and today I review on the True Socks. So just some basic information on the True Socks. True Socks retail at $40, which is quite expensive. And they are headlined by the players such as Luis Suarez and Gareth Bale. They were first um, released to the market here in the US, but then later on carried mostly into the Barclays Premier League. These are the socks that have been worn by many great players in the World Cup. And I'm going to tell you and test if these socks really live up to the hype that's around them. First off, I'll give you some of the tech specs on the True Socks. So the True Socks are headlined by these little rubber pads here you can see on the bottom of the foot. These rubber pads are supposed to reduce slippage in your cleat. Since when you sweat a lot, your feet do sweat a lot, yes, um, it usually causes a lot of slippage and movement inside of your cleat, which a lot of players do not like because when you need to turn, your foot kind of moves out of place and then it kind of it makes you slower and it's harder to move, right? So what these pads are supposed to do are they're supposed to reduce slippage. And I have to be honest about this, they do that very well. So here I've turned one, the other sock inside out. And just to show you that the rubber pads are existent on the inside of the foot too, the point behind this is not only to reduce slippage between your sock and your cleat, but also between your foot and your sock, meaning that there will be no slippage whatsoever. Um, other than that, these, uh, these socks don't only have these rubber pads, they also have a very soft and very cushioned material on the bottom, so they're very comfortable. So these rubber pads do not... Um, Kind of, they do not sacrifice comfort just for these rubber pads, since the rubber pads are also very soft if you could feel them. Um, they have two different var uh, variations. One is the comfort version, which I have here on both. So both of these are the comfort version. And the other is the thin version. So they're not as padded as these are, so they don't have as much toe pad uh, padding and the heel padding, but they're a little bit thinner. So depending on what you like on a sock, if you like them thinner or a little bit thicker, you can choose. All right, so now I'll be giving you my opinion on if these true socks are really worth $40. Let me just say straight up, no, they are not worth $40. Yes, they're very good socks and they do help with the slippage, which I've noticed many times in games, but these socks are not worth $40 in my opinion. Um, $40 for socks is, in my opinion, very outrageous. I mean, elite socks are very expensive, and I already, th I already thought those were expensive. I only got these since I do play a lot of soccer, practice four times a week, have a game every weekend. So I thought I'll get two pairs last me year. And until now, they've really done well. I've had these for a few months now, and they do not you know, tear at all or rip. So they're very durable. I have to give them that. But I do not think these, that these are worth $40 and that the hype is really kind of if, it, if the hype is not really worth it. I don't think that this will be game changing for you. I don't think that you will be better than every other player on the field because you are wearing these socks. Um, but I do like that they give you a very secure fit with the, with the pads. I like that a lot. And that's something that your standard Nike socks, for example, like the Park IVs, they do not give you that. Um, so that's what kind of this has the benefit of just giving extra grip. And also, they are very good quality socks in a sense that they have good padding. Something that maybe your, you know, your club team sock doesn't have that they're very kind of padded at all. So they do, I mean, other, other than the, just the pads, they also have good comfort, which I do like in a sock. But I think that if True Socks were to reduce the price maybe to $30, something around that, I think they would gain a lot more customers and maybe a little bit more attention because right now I think $40 is very steep for socks and I've only got, gotten two pairs because they're so expensive. So that's something maybe to think about before you buy these. Just that you can probably find another sock that is very comfortable. But if you really think you need these rubber pads to hold your foot in place, if your slippage is so bad that you really need these, go ahead, give them a try. Um, Leave in the comments below if you have them what your opinion is. That'd be great just to let me know what your opinion on these is. But I mean, I love them not to get that wrong. Just $40 is very steep for these. 
Um, so after this, I'll give you a, just quick how to wear these true socks. And, and All an right, on feet. So now I have an on feet with the true socks. Um, on the left, my on my left foot, I'm wearing the Adam Pure 11 Pro SL2, just in case you're curious. Um, on my right leg, I, I'm just wearing the true socks like that, so you can see how the grips look like on feet. So just to start off with, the, some, uh, with something, that these socks are the crew length socks. They come in two other lengths too. One that goes all up to your knee, which is called the game sock, which you can wear without having to cut off any other pair of socks. So it's just one sock, and then there's also an ankle sock that goes up onto your ankle, but you can't wear any shin guards with that, so I kind of think that's pointless, but you can wear those with running, maybe you're just practicing, or if you're just practicing, you don't need shin guards. So right now, I'll just give you a quick 360 view, kind of turn around and show you what they look like from all angles, and then I'll try to answer your questions and maybe some concerns that you have at the end of the video. So now that you've seen a 360 view with the socks on feet and how the socks look like on a shoe, I'll be answering some questions and concerns that people had when they were talking to me about these socks. So first thing people would ask me, hmm, do these dots have any significance or any purpose when it comes to performance? My answer is no. These dots do not have any per uh, performance purposes and they do not kind of, they have just, they just have no purpose at, to the overall sock. They're just there to kind of as a logo and they're supposed to market the true socks. And this is the main reason why they've gained so much hype because people would ask themselves when they see players wear these socks, oh, wh what are these dots? I need to find out what the socks are that they're wearing. And this kind of just uh, signifies and resembles true socks. So when you see these dots, you know they're true socks. Another question people would ask me a lot would be if these socks shrink in the washing machine or if you have to wash them by hand since I know how annoying it can be if you have to wash these by hand every night um, no you can wash these in the washing machine I've actually tried washing them by hand and they actually if you wash them by hand they will stiffen up quite a bit so I do recommend actually washing them in the washing machine um, which is quite convenient so they do not shrink up at all um, they do not shrink so you can definitely wash them in the washing machine the last question, or the third question that is very popular is, how do you wear these true socks? And instead of answering that question here in 30 seconds and trying to rush it as much as I can, I think I'm gonna dedicate another video towards this. So to uh, China, I'll show you how to wear these socks and how they look like with the game socks and with shin guards and shin guard holders and what you need to do this. So I think I'll just do that instead of answering that question right here. So, if you want to find, uh, keep up to date on that, just make sure to subscribe so you won't you know, um, miss any new videos. Since I will try to be posting a lot of videos in the few we next few weeks since I still have summer break. So if you like the video, make sure to like it. That would really support me and I'd thank you a lot for that. If you have any other questions on the true socks or just you know any sock related questions, I will be more than happy to answer them in the comments. I'll try to get to answer all the comments in the below. So just comment, and if you did enjoy the video, and if you like the in-depth review on these true socks, make sure to leave a like. It would really support my channel since it's very new. So thank you for tuning in, and hope to see you next time. Peace.